Marmorino Paladino Rocky effect. First, apply the primer coat and let dry. Apply a thin layer of the Marmorino Paladino plaster for the first coat, covering the entire surface. After the primer coat, we're going to apply the Marmorino Paladino White, which is both an interior and exterior plaster made from marble dust and lime. First, apply a thin coat over the surface, spreading the material evenly to cover the primer coat. Try to eliminate the lines created by the spatula as you go. Let the first coat dry for at least 12 hours. Apply a thicker layer for the second coat of Marmorino Paladino. Apply a thicker layer for the second coat of Marmorino Paladino and immediately take your trowel and pat the plaster onto the wall, pulling at the thick coat you just applied. This creates the rough texture. Let the textured coat set for about 10 to 15 minutes. With your trowel, go back and gently smooth out the texture, just breaking the top of the texture. Don't apply a lot of pressure here, just gentle movements across. Again, just breaking the top. It's very important to not smooth out the surface. You want to leave the texture. The textured layer should be about 80% dry to the touch, which should take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Now, go back in with your trowel and smooth it out again, but this time with a lot of pressure, making the surface very smooth, while leaving large holes of texture. Remember to always work in one to two square yard sections if you're working alone. Don't let any area dry before you can go in and create the texture. Let the surface dry completely for at least 12 hours. Now we're ready to glaze the surface. You can use earth tone colors such as brown or reddish to make it look like natural rock. 
but now we're going to show you how to glaze it with a metallic glaze. The first coat we're going to use is yellow gold number one. With your sponge, you want to push it into the texture, covering the entire surface. Let it dry for one hour. Now you can apply the red gold glaze number 10. You can apply all over or just in certain areas to give the wall some contrast. Let this coat dry for at least 30 minutes. You can apply a little bit of green glaze to give the wall more of a patina or aged copper look. You want to apply just a little bit to accent the texture. Now you can leave it as it is with more of a goldish copper finish, or you can add a strong bronze metallic glaze, number three. Again, just apply the bronze glaze here and there. It's entirely up to you. This will give more depth to the wall's finish. As you see now, this is more golden bronze, but you can also apply silver and black metallic finishes to get more of a metal look. 